Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Bobbert the Wise. Hey ladies, short notice, I know, but I need a free photographer for Sunday. My fave photographer is unavailable. I'm riding in a tethered hot air balloon. Bucket list. I have a brain injury and never thought I'd be able to. I'm gonna cry. Blank and blank. There's also a super duper special jujitsu seminar prior in here. I'd like to be able to go to take pics. Sports photographers preferred because you know the angles and what's going on. I'm broke financially and you might have to pay for the seminar and a hot air balloon ticket, $100 total. But two things are getting checked off my bucket list Sunday and I want to capture it on film. Might make it in a book someday. PM me for more details. Pick up the dress I'm gonna wear on the balloon. <laughs> It's bad enough asking for a free photographer, but then when you want that photographer to also pay to work for you for free, I, I don't think you're going to find one. This next one is by Lord Lyrad. Does anyone have a car they're willing to give away that they're not using? Doesn't have to be oh, good. Automatic would be preferred and anything less than 40,000 miles. Has to be 2013 or newer. Thanks. One could argue it doesn't hurt to ask, but when you have these specifications, don't expect to receive. This next one is from a girl named Ronnie. Hi there! Just wanted to give you a heads up that tomorrow is my birthday and I'm so excited to celebrate. I would absolutely love it if you could surprise me with an amazing gift to make my day even more special. Your thoughtfulness means the world to me and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thank you in advance for making my birthday extra memorable. <laughs> If this isn't a message to try to literally manipulate somebody as well as solicit the fact that you want a gift, then I don't know what is. Just wow. This next one is by The Amazing Luke. Hey, I was just wondering if you do fitness plans. My buddy Artin recommended you and just said that you really helped him out. I sure am. It was a pleasure working with Artin. How's he doing now? He's doing great. Said that getting back into the gym really helped him feel a lot better about himself. Think he goes three times a week now or something. Good to hear he's still sticking to the plan anyway. Tell him I said hi. So what kind of help are you looking for? I'm just kind of looking to lose a bit of weight for a wedding I'm going to in September. Get a bit fitter in general I suppose. How much would that set me back? For a targeted fitness plan alone, you're looking at about $25. I can throw in a week-long meal plan for an extra $15 if you're interested. Okay, I'm sold. What's next? So, are you just interested in the fitness plan, or would you like the meal plan too? Meal plan. Okay, perfect. Let me get a couple of basic details from you real quick, and we can jump into the nitty-gritty of it. Sends information. Okay, perfect. I think I've got enough info now. I'll let you know when I've got your plan finished. Should be a few days or so. Hey, so your fitness plan is done now. Do you have an email I can send it to? Sure, man. It's beggarskeepbegging at gmail.com. Okay, perfect. I've sent you the file now. What's the password? Your payment still hasn't come through. I'll send it once it arrives in my account. Yeah, look man, I'm a bit behind on my car payments, so it might be a while before I'm able to get the money to you. Like, give me two weeks and I should be good. Okay man, that's all good, no worries. There's no rush. I mean, for me, it kinda is a rush, cause the wedding is in like seven weeks, and I need to start working out and cutting weight as soon as possible. I really appreciate what you've done for me on such short notice. Would you be able to send me the password while I work on getting the money together? I'm sorry, but that's not how I operate. I've had people stiff me in the past, so I don't do credit. Look man, would you just be able to send the password? This wedding really means a lot to me. I'm going to be seeing friends I haven't seen in years and I really have to look good. I'm sorry, but I don't give credit. I have no way of knowing whether you'd pay me or not. I would have also preferred to know about this before starting on your plan. I put a lot of time into this. 
Well, I mean, I have no way of knowing whether the plan I'm paying for is actually good or not, so you can at least send me the password for the meal plan so I can know you're legit. With all due respect, you were the one who told me how impressed you were by the quality of the plan I did for your friend. I won't give you any of the passwords until you send me the payment for the fitness plan I put my hard work and effort into. Listen man, I'm a patient guy but you've really pushed me over the edge this time. You'd do a lot more business if you actually treated your customers with an ounce of respect. Instead of being a power tripping freak who values his ego more than the health of his customers, I'm finished with you. I don't really think one can qualify as a customer just because they had a service performed but failed to pay for that service. It seems at that point, it makes one a leech. This next one is from Ukulele Rap Boy. Area Mutual Aid ask, Area Hive Mind, assuming I'm well and testing negative, I'm due to arrive on August 9th and leave on the 11th and I do not have accessible housing. Two nights only. I have a gig in just bags on the 11th, but could stay anywhere in the area. Accessible means no scented laundry products in use within recent memory, so the bedding and mattresses are unscented. No scented candles, air fresheners, or incense. No mold, limited dust. No smoking of anything. Yes, actual bed. Can't do on the floor anymore. Yes, a fridge and stove. Also, no kitty litter box within smelling distance. Please forward to friendly people you know. Let me know if you have any leads. If you're literally looking for a free place to stay, then it's kind of the you should take what you can get rather than thinking you can demand where you're going to end up. This next one is by Mr. Bowles. Lazy workers, do not read further. I'm about to provide a lucrative opportunity for young companies that are willing to meet my criteria. You have to have been in business with at least six months to qualify. I need my roof totally replaced on my 1200 square foot home and will allow a company that's new to do it for free. I will pay 75% of materials, the rest is on you. After you complete my roof to my satisfaction, you will receive the following. Five Google reviews from me and several friends that are in the industry. Word of mouth recommendations for six months from me. I will allow you to place your sign in my yard for 45 days. I'm sick and tired of entitled businesses today who want to overcharge, want a free ride, but are unwilling to put in sweat equity to show they're serious. This is a mutually beneficial agreement to show your clients your dedication to your craft. PM with any questions. I feel like the only PM I would send them with the only question I would send them would be like, do you really think you're going to get somebody to do this? <laughs> this next one is from Sil Vegas. Buy the girls a drink, Nashville bound, Venmo it here. Like, honestly, the title basically stated, if you can afford a girls weekend in Nashville, you can afford to buy your own drinks. I agree 100% with that. And our final one is by The Nerdy Photo. Wedding photography. Hey there, we are so excited to have you as our wedding photographer. Hard to believe it's only a few months away. I wasn't sure how to approach you with this, but the budget has been rapidly expanding as we go through this process. I'm sure that happens with a lot of the weddings and you've dealt with it many times. I was wondering if we could work something out. I work in the events department at here. I'm wondering if I could hire you to photograph some events there and you could overcharge them and whatever you overcharge, you could take off our remaining balance. What do you think? Do you have any other ideas? Beggy. When you do things on your own, photography, whatever, any kind of self-employment, you want repeat business. You definitely don't want repeat business from beggars though, especially ones that want you to overcharge other people just to give them a discount. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons and super thanks contributors, have a great day and stay safe out there.